Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to Bible Bites. Today we're going to be talking about how our salvation comes with no strings attached. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to be reading from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. It reads, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one can boast. So from this passage, I want to look at three things that we learn about grace. So the first is what grace is. So grace is, it says right in that passage, it's a free gift. And I always think of grace and mercy as grace being something, receiving something we don't deserve, and mercy being not receiving a punishment that we do deserve. So they are intertwined in this idea of salvation, uh, but grace is specifically talking about this free gift. Now, what is that free gift? Well, it's the gift of salvation. We see in Acts 4.12, that there is no other option. It says, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven by which we can be saved. So that's another thing about grace that I think is really important, is that grace isn't an option for salvation. It is the only way. It's not that we could work our way towards salvation, but grace is a secondary option. Grace is the only option. It's only by grace we are saved. The next thing I want to talk about is what grace is not. So grace is not something that we could get from works. We see that right in verse 9. It says it's not of works. But it's also something that can't happen without a cause. Now, what do I mean by that? I think that it's important to understand that the grace isn't just something that just is, that, that it had to be paid for. It had to be bought at a price. And Jesus himself did that. So I want to read a verse really quickly in Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 23, reads, this Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. So we see in this passage that grace, the grace that comes through salvation, that this is something that this was God's plan from the start. He knew, he had the foreknowledge to know, even at the beginning of creation, that this is the way it had to be, that this isn't something we could earn on our own. This is something that had to come through a perfect sacrifice. So if you're still wondering, well, what is grace? What isn't grace? Grace is that gift of salvation. If you're watching this and you haven't uh, received that gift of salvation, I want to really briefly explain explain how that works. Well, first is understanding that that we're sinful, that we're not that we're not living up to God's expectation uh, for what perfection is. And that there's no way we can get rid of that sin in our lives with anything that we do, any sacrifice, any merit of our own. But the next step is that we have to understand that Jesus came, lived on this earth as a, a, a perfect life, fully God, fully man, and that he died on the cross for our sins. And the free gift of salvation comes when we put our faith and trust in Christ as Lord and then we receive that gift of salvation. So the last point about grace that I want to get into is the why. Why grace? Well, it says right in that final verse in Ephesians that I read, it is so that no one can boast. Grace is something that is meant to eliminate pride. It completely removes the option for pride. So if you are, are standing as a Christian you are redeemed by grace. You have no option in your life for pride. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't still have the sin of pride in our lives, but when we're having pride, it's us trying to basically remove the need for that grace, which we can't do. So grace removes the option for pride. It tells us in Galatians 2.20 that it is not our own. It is Christ working in and through us that is the one that is doing the work. So my encouragement to you today, if you're watching this video, is first of all, just if, if you're a believer, be thankful for that grace and live and walk in it. 
Know that it's not in your own power that you walk in, but then also dive deeper into that next verse in Ephesians, which I'm not going to directly deal with in this Bible, but I think that's a good one for another time. But it says that he did all of this because he prepared us for good works. So good works aren't what saves us, but because of grace, this is, this is our purpose now. But if you're, if you're not a believer or, or if you are a believer and you need reminded of this, I, I want to just reiterate that grace is the defining line between the Bible and, and Christianity and everything Jesus came to this earth to say and do. It's the defining line between that and all other world religions. See, every, every religion that is not Christianity can be all summed up in one camp, and that is what man can do to get to God or to get to enlightenment uh, or, or whatever, whatever that religion uh, states is the, the end existence of, of all of life. But Christianity is different. Because of grace, it says that religion is God already coming and giving us this gift. So it's not about what we can do to get to God, but it's about what God did to open the way for us to be able to make it to him and to get to that salvation and to get to heaven. So I hope that was a, a good reminder for you of what grace is. Uh, a, a good uh, list of the what grace is and what grace isn't, and really just digging deep in that passage in Ephesians that says it is only by grace that we are saved. If you're enjoying this content, I hope that you check out all of our other Bible Bites. We're at over a hundred Bible Bites on this channel now. We have a playlist put together where you can watch all of them if you missed any of them. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do that. It helps our channel grow and reach more people and like the video if you enjoyed this content. We hope you guys join us tomorrow for our next Bible Bite.